So, we're in the middle of this, can't say the word because then they'll, won't promote the video. But everybody knows what's going on. There's a virus that is keeping us away from, should be keeping you away from anyone. You love. 60 or older, 40 or older. Or anyone with any kind of like health issues. So... Scarlet, of course, she's got all sorts of issues, so she's staying basically here. Aiden had a heart issue when he was born, so we're a little worried with him, and he's also got asthma. And it's been two weeks since we yes. did our trip. Uh, this is going to be a little interjection in there because it's this is real time. Uh, we're loading a series of us on our vacation Well. All this started happening while we were gone, and we were in the mountains not getting a lot of information. Until we started coming out of the mountains, we started realizing what was going on in the world, and it felt a little weird. So, we haven't seen, well, I haven't seen my family in almost two weeks up until yesterday. Um, March, March 6th was the last time we saw them? Yeah. March 7th, because we had Aiden's birthday party. Mm -hmm. That's when we saw... Anthony's family and some of my family. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the last time you saw your mom in passing when we got back. Yeah. Uh, but I hadn't seen my parents because I knew my parents were at risk. And we found out um, driving through one of the towns that we were in, it got hit really hard where we stopped to eat dinner. Um, it, they had almost 50 cases in that little town that we were in. So we knew when we got back, we were just coming to the house for 14 days, which ended on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. So my sister had seen... Well, so one of the other things that's going on is one of Anthony's relatives, we found out while in our quarantine, he was... Uh, positive and he's having some issues in the hospital um, it's my mom's brother so she's having a little bit of a hard time with it and we're all a little worried about my mom and we haven't seen my dad in a little while so my sister decided to organize all of us to do a drive-by by my parents house so that's what this next video is it's not really there's not a lot of narrative there's not a lot of uh, hoopla it's just us showing up and getting the reaction of my mom. And we literally just drove by twice and we left. Um, Which is not something that we normally do. Sundays we spend about 10 hours at my mom's house. It's after church, uh, 12 o'clock football. <coughs> she doesn't have it. This has just been going on since the, the series of while we were out of town. <laughs> but we knew my mom was upset and she's got no way to express it she can't go see him none of his kids can go see him she can't go see him everybody's getting information through text so it's, it's a little rough right now um, I'm sure if you're watching this if you know anybody if you yourself may have been affected by it but it's weird it's a weird time right now Everybody's being told to stay at home. We have an essential job in healthcare, but Stephanie has to stay here with the kids because their school's closed. I'm still going in and I implemented, you know, what I learned in years of shelter management with the state guard. And we're only letting few people in. We're limiting our access to the doctors. I built a whole bunch of things to keep us safe in the office for the machines, but that's besides the point. That's just. One of the reasons why we, we wanted to go see our parents because we hadn't seen them in a while. And normally my parents' house is kind of like that that thing that starts, for me, Sunday is the beginning of my week. I don't treat Sunday as the last day of the week, and I treat it as the first day of the week because it's always pretty nice going and watching sports with my dad until he falls asleep in his chair, <laughs> uh, waiting for my mom to say sorry that she didn't get dinner done by 5 p.m., and we make a joke about a family friend that passed who would have been yelling at her by that point or standing in the kitchen. Uh, 
just lots of family jokes and it's been a kind of a weird year so we wanted to go by and check on her see her in real life and just my mom's not technologically uh, inclined uh, she just barely got a smartphone and she refuses <coughs> to use her uh, her uh, security cameras <laughs> and so we had to go by and so that's what this is it's just us from different perspectives from all of our siblings my brother was there because he lives um, a few blocks from her house. from her so he's been going there every day because they watch uh, his daughter while he's at work because he's also in the same line of business that we are uh, so he's going into work so they're all I guess community community together I guess they're 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 around each other enough that it doesn't matter whereas if we interjected ourselves anyone that we come into contact with could expose them to a different we don't know how this thing is working so we're all just staying away <coughs> um, he recorded from the perspective of being there next to our parents uh, we recorded from the vehicle at the end driving by and in front. Uh, I'm sure uh, my sister and my uh, nephew and one of my other sisters took video and sent it to us. We'll probably add that so. in. So it's going to be the same scene over and over again, but from different perspectives. Um, but it's just our family trying to figure this out out like everybody else and try to help and well each other cope with something that is unnatural it's difficult to cope with to begin with and then adding in the you can't see the person you love or be with them in their last moments or even just hug somebody to tell them that you're there for them um so this is it's a really hard time that everyone is going through and not really sure how to navigate it. Yeah. We've already had one of, we've already had a, a passing, uh, that was really different for us. Normally there's a big to do where we get to say our goodbyes, but he was a really big part of our lives and it, it kind of felt empty when we didn't get to say goodbye to him the proper way or the way that we're used to, not the proper way, but the way that we're used to saying goodbye. And this one, I think, is hitting my mom a little hard. We still don't know if he if he's going to pull through or not. Um, he's still with us today, as of the filming of this. But, you know, we needed to check on my mom. So, that's what we've got going for you. Hope every, all, all of y'all are staying safe. Uh, we thank you for watching. And here you go.
All right, they're on. I can go first. Okay. So, Just bust you, he's not like we don't have okay. done it before. Okay. Are we going into their yard or just out front? Just out front, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> No, but he's hitting me with it. <laughs> Sit down. On your Can you hold it? Hold it? So I can hold Scarlet. Two hands. Brooke, come here. What is this? I'm scared. For grandma and grandpa. Uh, All right, we got some other stuff too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Asleep. I don't know if you saw it, but this is her sign. She said that's John Tom. 
<laughs> she wanted to make sure you knew that. Well, put it down, buddy, if you can't see. So I can't see. Put that down, buddy. Got your phone back? Huh? Has your phone turned back on? Back on now. Yeah, I figured out what happened about five o'clock this morning. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see y'all again.
You're in the mirror. <laughs> oh, there she is. Good. Take your head up. Bro. <laughs> oh, Mama. Oswald's with you. Too. <laughs> oh, Oswald. Big Oz. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Well, we saw her in the mirror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love you too, guys. Love thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate guys. it. Stay, thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, we're doing fine. Do you No, I miss y'all. Miss you too. Thank y'all so much for doing this. <laughs> Scarlett was writing on it earlier. I'm glad I came up here first because she was asleep 10 minutes ago. <laughs> she stayed up all night messing with her cable. She fell asleep. She was asleep till about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but, but she fixed it. Yeah, we got so that was her then. <laughs> yeah, everything's back on now. Alrighty. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate Love it. Love you. What, baby? Oh, oh, my love. We'll be soon, Nita. You get off soon, okay? It won't be long. I want Bubba. Oh. I saw Liam a while ago. Can you give me big kisses? Lorelai. Mwah. Oh. Lorelai, call me on the call me on FaceTime later. Anytime. Thank you all. Thank you, Sonny. Bye guys. Hopefully she'll fall asleep. <laughs>